Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how I use the Capital IQ plugin in Excel to download a long panel data with the help of a free Tableau add-in. Without further ado, let's start. So in order to download the data in a long panel format, the first thing you need to do is to prepare a template in Excel, like what you see in the screen over here. You need to arrange your firm indicator in the first column, followed by the year indicator. In this case, I'm using the fiscal year as example. And you need to arrange all your variables in the first row. But if let's say you have more than a thousand of firms, more than 10 years, and more than 30 variables, it will be very time consuming if you do it manually in Excel. So now I'm going to show you how you can prepare this template in a faster and simpler way uh, with the help of Tableau. Now I'm going to show you how to install the Tableau software and add into your Excel like this. First, open up your browser and search for Tableau add in for Excel. And find this, installing and troubleshooting the Tableau add-in for Excel. Click on it, and it will link you to the Tableau's uh, website. You just scroll down and look for this zip file. Okay, download this zip file and install the Tableau data too. So once the installation is complete, oh by the way, this Tableau uh, add-in is totally free. Okay, it is totally free. There's no fees required. So once the installation is complete, go back to your Excel, click on File, click on More, click Option, and go to the Add-in section, and click Go, and check the box of Tableau 7, and then click OK. So once you click OK, it will appear in your Excel, so you have this Tableau on top of your Excel tab. Next, we need to call the firms that we screened earlier in our SAP Capital IQ account. So in this case, I'm using the major US exchange firms as a demonstration. So I've already called the firms by using the screening function in our SMB Capital IQ plugin. So if you're not sure how to do it, you can simply click on the I button on the top right corner of this video, and it will link you to the previous video, and you can learn more about it. So in this case, I cut it down to 30 firms for demonstration. All right, next, we need to list down our time indicator beside the firms. But if let's say you have more than 30 years or 100 years, then uh, it will be very time consuming if we do it manually. So we need to use the Tableau to help us arrange our Firm indicator and time indicator side by side, but how to do it? So this is the way I do it. So I have my firm's the first column. Next, if let's say I want to download data for fiscal year 2013 to 2020, so I write down FY, which stands for fiscal year 2013, and I click on the small black box at the bottom over here and drag it until I have my fiscal year 2020. Okay, so I arrange my fiscal year in the first row. Then only I use the Tableau to reshape my data into this format. But before I click on the reshape data, I need to have a data in my sample over here. But in this case, we don't have any data. Okay, so I just put a dot, okay, put a dot, and again click on the small black box to drag it to my last year, and again double click on this black box so that the Excel helps you to paste all the dot until your last foot. So now the Tableau will, will learn that okay, this dot is my data point. So I click on my first data point and click on this reshape data and click on OK. So the Tableau will create a new sheet for you and it will help you to arrange your firms and time indicators side by side. 
Okay, so here you can see that this is my first company and followed with my year. This is my second company and followed by my year. So this is exactly the format that we are looking for. The first company followed by the year. Second company followed by the year. So now we have already done with the firm's indicator and the time indicator. But before that, we can rename the year indicator. If you, if, uh, if you are using year, so you can rename with a year. If you are using quarter, then you can rename quarter. So for this column, we can just delete it. So now, we need to... The last thing we need to do is to arrange our variable in the first row. So let's say you have already prepared the list of variable. You can just copy from your Microsoft Word and paste it to your Excel by creating a new sheet. Okay, so for example, these nine variables is the variables that I'm looking for. So I just paste it to my Excel and I highlight all the variables and copy it. And go back to the tabular sheet and click on the C, uh, C cell over here, the empty cell. And then right click, paste as transpose. Because we need the variables to be listed side by side in the first row. And that's it. This is how you prepare a template before we go to the downloading part. Now come to the downloading part, click on the SMP Capital IQ tab, click on the Formula Builder, and select cell as our identifier. Now our identifier, our firm identifier is located at A2. So click on A2, but we have to lock our A column by adding the dollar sign. Now we can go to find our data our variable. So the first variable is total revenue. So I just click on total revenue and go to the period over here, click on cell to choose our time indicator. So in this case, our time indicator is located at B2. So again, we need to lock our B2, our B column, putting the dollar sign and click on add formula. So next, we are looking for the R&D expenses. So now, click on the R&D expenses. Again, add the formula. Next is operating income. Click on operating income. Click add formula. Next is interest expenses. So click on the interest expenses. Add formula. So if you're not sure return on asset is under which uh, folder, just use the data item keywords. Search for the return on asset. So we choose return on asset percentage. Click OK. And then Click Add Formula and here we have the Return on Equity percentage and Add Formula. So before you click Apply, make sure that this formula layout is across a row and then the formula location is C2 which means that the first formula will appear in the C2 cell. So now we click OK. And you have everything in your Excel. So you can click on the cell over here to check the formula. So A2 is our firm indicator and the B2 is our year indicator. And this is the total revenue formula. Next, you can just simply highlight all the data over here and double click on the small uh, box over here. So when you double click it, you will paste all the formula in your Excel and the SMP 
Capital IQ will help you to download the data according to your year and indicator. So if you want to check the formula, you can go up over here. So the first indicator is our firm indicator, which is A5. That's correct. And then this is the formula for our total revenue. And this is B5 is our fiscal year 2016. So that's it. That's how you download the data from SMP Capital IQ by the panel format. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. If you think this video is helpful, remember to give me a thumbs up and share it with your students or friends. Comment below and tell us about your thoughts and remember to hit the subscribe button to get notified. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.